Yeah, so the, um, the secondary, uh, sorry, the, the successor study of AML 2012 is what we called CHIP AML 2022. And we present the study design here at uh, ASH here in San Diego. Um, it is a sort of a complex uh, clinical trial with a master and linked trials. The linked trial at the moment that is open is uh, on Quisartinib, a FLT3 inhibitor that will be given to children with a FLT3 internal tenum duplication and at the same time not having an mp one mutation. In addition, there's two randomizations. Uh, there's a first randomization at induction uh, where the children will get MEC as the conventional standard of care with or without mitotarc or chemtuzumab oscomycin. That is the experimental arm. And the second randomization is during consolidation. And in that setting, we will do a non-inferiority study, trying to see whether you can safely give the standard risk children two courses of consolidation chemo instead of three. So this study is uh, going to be done in 16 countries and more countries have an expressed an interest to join. Uh, at the moment, 16 countries with about 60 sites that will enroll children with uh, newly diagnosed AML in this trial. Uh, we are working on uh, getting other novel agents uh, implemented in CHIP AML 2022. Uh, of course, there's many new agents coming on the market. Uh, targeted ones are interested. Also, Venetoclax as a BCL2 inhibitor is of interest. Uh, we are looking for our uh, children with the came t 2 a rearrangement that have higher risk features, either by genetics or by treatment response, whether we uh, can um, uh, give them a menin inhibitor on top of the chemotherapy that we are giving. So that uh, is going to be developed in the next year or so.